What's going on, everybody? Greg Ehrenberg here from Odd Shopper. It's Saturday. We're kicking off our weekend by talking about prize picks, the best NBA plays over on prize picks. I'm going to be using the projections that we have over at stochastic.com to help you guys build out your prize picks cards. And if you want access to all the projections that I'm about to be talking about, our pick em package, which includes prize picks, underdog, and uh, what's the other one in here? So we got prize picks, we got underdog, and no house advantage. Almost had a brain fart there. All of those are bundled together. If you use the link below, it'll get you 50% off the pack, which means that you guys can get access to it for less than five bucks. It's really valuable data. And we're about to put this on the screen and show you guys what it looks like there. By the way, where are my glasses today? Just common knowledge that the average American wears glasses 69% smarter than the Americans who don't wear glasses, which means my picks are going to be better today. And as you guys come in, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you haven't signed up at Prize Picks yet, Use the link that we have below because it's going to get you up to a $100 bonus on your first deposit and one free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum. So all the tools we have behind the paywall over at the site. Now, walking through some of the different projections that we have over here, and actually I'm going to make this a little bit bigger on my screen so you guys could see it even a little bit better. Let's see if I make it this. that bigger? I think so. All right. So walking through some of the projections that we have right here, starting with our number one projected prop on the board, Miles Turner, over seven rebounds. We got him projected for 8.1 and a pretty good matchup against the Atlanta Hawks. And I know a lot of people are going to be doing some box score watching here, and they're going to look at Miles Turner, and they're going to say, well, he hasn't been picking up that many rebounds lately. This is true, but I was looking at some of his games before I started recording this, and I do think a lot of these games should come with an asterisk. There's been a lot of blowouts. There's been foul trouble. Turner was coming back from a two-game layoff because of an injury. We played some limited minutes. So there are a lot of reasons to think that the recent rebounding numbers for Miles Turner are not really in line with what we should expect from him for the season. He averages 7.5 per game, and this is a plus matchup, which brings this rebound number up to 8.1 in our projection. So the 7 already is short of what he averages for the season. Here are his recent games. So last game, only six rebounds against the Boston Celtics, but... The game was a blowout, so we only got 24 minutes out of Miles Turner. The game before that, seven rebounds, so it would have been a push, but Miles Turner fouls out and plays limited minutes. The game before that, Miles Turner, 28 minutes, picks up seven rebounds, would have been another push. Game before that, five rebounds, but the final score was 141 to 121, also another blowout where he didn't see full minutes out of Miles Turner. Game before that, he got eight rebounds, so it would have hit the over but was his first game back from injury and only played 25 minutes. So we've not yet seen Miles Turner play 30 minutes since he returned from his two-game absence, missed the games on March 11th and March 13th against the Pistons, both due to injury. But I think he's totally healthy now, and there's just been these weird circumstances like blowouts, like foul trouble that have limited Miles Turner's minutes, and a plus matchup against the Atlanta Hawks should be really fast-paced. I do agree with our projection here. I like over seven rebounds for Miles Turner. The next prop I want to look at, KCP, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, over eight and a half points. Another one that we've projected fairly well here over in our projections. And if we look at KCP and the Denver Nuggets, they've got a matchup today against the Milwaukee Bucks, which on the surface isn't a great one, but the game does have a 236 and a half total. That is the highest of the entire slate. And as far as KCP goes, we've seen him play some really big minutes as of late. And I think this has to do with Denver shortening the rotations, trying to solidify their number one seed in the West and gear up for the playoffs. So last game, another blowout situation, 30 minutes for KCP. The games before that, though, 34 minutes against the Nets and 37 minutes against the Knicks. So the point prop here, eight and a half for KCP. We actually got him projected for 11.1. So seems fairly high. But once again, if we look at the seasonal average for Contavious Caldwell-Pope, He's playing 32 minutes per game. He's averaging 11 points per game. And now we've got him in a scenario where instead of playing those 32 minutes he's been playing for the entire season, we're probably getting 36 to 37 out of KCP as we've seen his minutes have trended up as of late. So another one that I like right there for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Totally agree with our projections. The next one to look at, Brandon Ingram, under six assists. And we have seen Brandon Ingram recently. But very recently, I believe it was last game we saw a triple double from Brandon Ingram. Let me pull up his box score to double check, see if that is accurate. And yeah, last game, career high best game for Brandon Ingram, 10 assists. And uh, truth be told, his assist numbers have been up as of late, but that also means we've got an inflated assist prop here for Brandon Ingram. The number is six, he's only averaging 5.2 for the season. 
And the matchup against the Clippers, even with Paul George out, isn't really an ideal one. I do think we're going to see Kawhi Leonard guarding Brandon Ingram for a lot of the game that should limit his counting stats in this spot. Also, a really pivotal game for playoff seeding. And I, I do like Brandon Ingram under six assists just because we got him projected for the five and a half. I think this is really inflated based on some of the recent assist totals and the triple-double last time out for Brandon Ingram. This is still a guy who only averages 5.2 assists per game for the season and does not have an abundance of games with seven or more assists. So I lean towards the under here with Brandon Ingram, although I do like the Turner and KCP props a little bit more. feel a little bit better about those ones. One final prop I want to walk you guys through. It's going to be another under. This one is on Eric Gordon. So Gordon is playing bigger minutes for the Clippers right now because there's no Paul George. Paul George dealing with a knee injury. The team is optimistic he's going to return for the playoffs, but that's not set in stone. It's just optimistic, wishful thinking at this point. So Gordon's playing the extended minutes. He's going to have extra opportunity. This is a high assist prop. We have seen Eric Gordon start. Well, he started last game for the Clippers. He ended up putting up two assists, played 22 minutes. The game was a blowout, so sure, he could have played more had the game been more competitive. But overall, his games with the Clippers, if we go back to, let's see, first game with the Clippers, February 14th for Eric Gordon. And in those games, he has had a total of, so over the last month and a half, a total of five games from Eric Gordon where he's had more than two assists. And then overall for the season, don't forget, this is a guy who was mostly starting and playing big minutes for the Houston Rockets. And during those games, he was playing, let's see, so as a starter this year, 51 starts this year for, for Eric Gordon, averaging right around two and a half assists per game. And then you look at our projections here, we've got him for 2.2 assists. For the season, he's averaging 2.7. So not all that far off from the seasonal averages. I'm going to side with our projections here and agree with the under two and a half assists. The ones I feel best about, though, are definitely the Miles Turner and Contavious Caldwell, Pro, uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope props. Those are the ones I think are the best we have projections on. And keep a lookout for any other injury news that's going to open up over the course of the day. We do have a lot of players, as per usual, this time of year on the injury report. These are the key names to look out for. Trey Young is questionable. James Harden is questionable. Laurie Markin is questionable. Trey Murphy is questionable. DeAndre Hunter is questionable. Any of those players getting ruled out could create some additional value for tonight's slate and create some extra some extra stuff for us to look at as far as betting value goes over on prize picks. So that is going to do it for me, guys. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section or join our Chalkboard channel. It is 100% totally free to download Chalkboard. It is also totally free to join our channel. We've got nearly 600 people in there. We've been growing it pretty quickly. And if you guys want to hang out with us, it's been myself and Lofi sweating a lot of bets with people, answering questions, posting some additional bets. If that is of interest to you for totally free, click on the link below to download Chalkboard. That's going to do it for me today here, guys. I hope you have a great weekend. One more favor, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I hope we win all our bets today.